Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Velo AI inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here in Wix Studio, I kind of want um, to basically have the Velo AI write me code to automatically update the copyright notice in my footer. That way I don't have to remember to do it. Now, I've already released a tutorial on this before and it's not difficult at all, but I should be able to tell from Velo AI if it's gonna work or not. Um, so, in order to get to Velo AI, what we need to do is come over to code and press start coding. Now, this is gonna basically add all of the coding functionalities to our website. So as you can see, we have the page code, global code, CSS, and a bunch of advanced backend stuff. However, we do not have Velo AI here. What we actually need to do is press code in Wix IDE. Now IDE basically stands for integrated development environment. It's basically just coding software. Now this is Wix's coding software and it resembles VS Code, if any of you have ever used it before, but the only real reason I use the IDE is simply to use the Velo AI. But now that we have the IDE open, you'll notice over here on the bottom right, this little AI assistant right here. So let's go ahead and click this. And it's basically going to give us a few options. And what we're going to want to do is generate code. So let's go ahead and give us a prompt here. So what I basically wrote is, can you write code to automatically update the copyright year in my footer? And we'll go ahead and press send. And now the AI assistant is gonna basically generate the response. And this should take about like 10 to 20 seconds, typically. And once it's done, here is its response. And the cool thing about this is it doesn't just tell you the code, but it also tells you the steps. Now, one thing I will say about the instructions here is it says this code should be placed in your page code, not the global code area, which this is actually wrong. You're going to want to put this in your global code because footers appear on multiple pages. Let's say you apply this code to your homepage page code instead of the global code. The year in your footer will only update on your homepage and not all of your other pages. So it is important to put it in your global code area. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and copy this code. We'll come over to the Explorer. We'll come down to source, come down to page, and we'll open up the master page. Now we can go ahead and paste in the text that we have and go ahead and exit out of this code right here. One thing I will note is when Wix IDE is open, so when you have this tab open, or even if another contributor has this page open, the coding panel in the actual website editor will not work. It isn't until someone closes out of Wix IDE for that website that the coding panel becomes active again. But once we go ahead and close out of Wix IDE and come back over to our global code here, we will now see our copyright code that we pasted in. Now, just like I showed you earlier, when you can't not edit the code here um, until you leave the Wix IDE and you'll get a little prompt here saying other users have stopped editing code. Do you want to start coding? You press yes. And now you can kind of edit the code within the editor. But now you'll basically see this code right here and we need to update the website accordingly. So this right now is calling the copyright year. So let's go ahead and grab this little text here. We'll grab this text element and then we'll go ahead and apply this ID to this text element. So now when we come back over to the code, the red line disappears. And maybe what we want to do is add a little bit more. Um, so current year, maybe we'll say Wix fix and then all rights reserved, something like that. So as of right now, it just says the copyright symbol 2023 Wix fix and then a line all rights reserved. But this text has copyright and then the copyright symbol. So once we go ahead and press preview, 
and we wait for the preview to load, you will now see that the code is working. So even though it's kind of hard to test this code because it is currently 2023 and I will have to wait several months before it's 2024 to prove it to you, um, but it does show that the code is working because it added this little copyright word before the symbol here. But that's kind of how you use Velo AI. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.